Hi, in this video we will do some examples for integration by parts and we will learn about a class of functions when you have a polynomial times e to the power constant times x that can be integrated using integration by parts. Let me start with recalling what was the uh, integration by parts formula. It says that integral of u dv can be turned into uv minus integral of v du or equivalently um, if you, your integral is product of a function a function times derivative of another function that integral is going to be integral of uv product of two functions themselves and then v u prime and dx these are equivalent versions of integration by parts let's start with the first example here i have integral of 2x minus 3 times e to the power x remember ibp starts with identifying the pattern what is the pattern in your integral you have to find function a function times derivative of another function well, there are different ways that you can do this. For example, you can go ahead and say that, okay, I know I can set this one u and then this one as v prime. If you go ahead and I ask you to pause the video and do it right now. If you go ahead with that choice of u and v prime, your integration by part is going to give you a harder, more difficult integral. So that won't be a good choice for you. Here, the better choice or the choice that will work definitely is that we take this one as our u and the rest, or I would say this one as v prime or in general, this whole thing as dv. So IBP to apply IBP, I need that preparation thing. First, identify u here I set that to be 2x minus 3 db which is the rest of the uh, integral there then i have to find du du is just derivative of u which is 2 times dx and v i need to find v because on the right hand side i need to know what is v um, v uh, is integral of dv in this case this is integral of e to the power x integral of e to the power x is just e to the power x in the preparation of ibt e, ibp you do not need to put that plus c there so that means that our right hand side which is u dv uh, well, let me just write the function itself, 2x minus 3 times e to the power x dx. Now it's going to be u times v itself. So it will be 2x minus, oops, 2x minus 3 times v is e to the power x minus integral of v times du so v here is e to the power x times 2 dx so i just put 2 there and that's well the right hand side now well the first part is just a function the second part integral of 2 times e to the power x integral of e to the power x is e to the power x there's a constant multiple uh, rule and then you put plus c so we by choosing u to be 2x minus 3 and v v prime to be e to the power x we were able to do that uh, solve that integral let me do to the uh, do the second example here again the choice here i have x e to the power 3x um, i will choose u as we go on you will notice why i'm choosing that to be my u that polynomial to be my u in this uh, class of functions then ibp so the pattern i um, identify is that u i'm going to set to be x 
dv is going to be e to the power 3x dx from that du is going to be 1 times dx and v is going to be integral of dv which is e to the power 3x dx well integral of e to the power 3x dx well uh, you can do integration uh substitution u substitution or in general you can keep this rule in mind that integral integral of e to the power mx dx when m is not zero equals to one over m e to the power mx plus c so here then my v is going to be to about 3x i don't need to put uh, plus c in the ibp preparation and then go ahead and apply the ibp here dx integration by parts says me that since you have that pattern that integral is going to be u times v so x times one third of e to the power 3x minus integral of v one third of e to the power 3x times du so this to multiply du here is 1 dx so i just write dx and okay so i have x over 3 e to the power 3x minus here i can uh, factor out 1 over 3 outside so i have integral of e to the power 3x so that will give me another 1 over 3 i multiply get e to the 1 over 9 e to the power 3x plus c let me simplify this uh, step because sometimes it's useful to have this i can factor out uh, e to the power 3x And that is my um, integral form. Okay, let's do the last one. Now with the examples done, um, I hope that you can see that the, the pattern is that u is going to be that polynomial. And v, dv or v prime is going to be that e to the power mx part. So IBP preparation, I will, I will always try to do this step so uh, the pattern I, I identified is x squared minus 3x plus 1. And then uh, dv will be the rest, e to the power 3x or v prime times dx. From this, I need to find what is du. du is going to be 2x minus 3 times dx. If you know u, du is u prime times dx. And v is going to be integral of e to the power 3x dx, which is one third of e to the power 3x. Now let's apply integration by parts. So uv x squared minus 3x plus 1 times one third of e to the power 3x minus integral of one third of e to the power 3x times du which is 2x minus 3 dx right hand side now you look at that and see that oh look at this guy this is not an integral that i can do right away but the form of this guy if you look it is a polynomial so i write one third of 2x minus 3 that's a polynomial times e to the power 3x dx well our first application of integration by parts gave us difference of two things the integral on the right hand side is not something that I can find right away, but I can apply IBP another time. So here is a new thing. You can apply IBP how many times you like or you need. Apply IBP another time. It means that, uh, well, for that very last term, 
you choose uh, what is you this time, what is we, another you and me, and then apply the IBP and go ahead uh, and do the integration. So here I would do, so this part I'm not going to touch. That's what we have. That is already integrated part. But for this one, I will take this one as you. So you, this is again, I, B, P preparation, U is one third of two X minus three, D, V is E to the power three X. And from there, you see that D, U is going to be two third D, X. And V uh, is going to be integral of E to the power three X, D, X, which is E to the power three X over three. So that is the preparation for the second uh, IBP and now I'm ready to move to uh, applying IBP another time minus so this whole thing here now I'm applying IBP another time U for me this time is one third of 2x minus 3 so it is uh, let me write here 2x minus 3 over 3 and v is e to the power 3x over 3 minus integral of v d u so that will give me uh, 2 uh, well, e to the power sorry e to the power 3x over 3 which is v times two-third of uh, dx now doing that step another time gives me uh, let me just write all these steps so that I can do and remember this minus you need to multiply inside and well look at this last integral this is basically 2 over 9 of integral of e to the power 3x dx I know what is that part so I can write 2 over 9 e to the power 3x over 3 plus c and then well this can be simplified definitely uh, x squared minus 3x plus 1 over 3 minus 2x uh, minus 3 over 9 plus 2 over 27 e to the power 3x plus c. So in all these examples, what we saw is that if you have, so note, integral of a polynomial times e to the power mx dx can be found by IBP if you set u to be that polynomial and dv to be e to the power mx. Well, you may need to repeat this process several times. As you saw in the last example, we did it twice. We applied IBP twice. But as you continue this thing, the t terms, the, the new integrals will appear, will be exactly the same form. And you can do the uh, IBP and get the final result.